Hi guys, this is now my third attempt at filming this, and yes, I'm shouting at you. I'm in my bedroom because I'm doing empties for you because I want to do my fi uh, film my makeup inventory later on today. I'm trying to talk really quickly so that I can get through this without uploader going nuts. I'm going to show you my empties. First, I'm going to show you my purges. I have three purges. Um, they need to go. They, they're out of my collection. This is a Coastal Scents in the Spotlight sh Shadow Sample. This is L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. There's supposed to be an expiry date on this. There's not. I've known. I, I know I've had this for over two years. It needs to go. This is a hard candy CC correction, correction cream. It's not fair, like it says it should be. I think I need like super fair. That is too dark. Too dark for me, and it's too orange. So this expires in February anyway. So it's got to go. Those are my three purges from this whole thing. I finished a CoverGirl um, Ready, Set, Gorgeous in 105. Absolutely love this. We'll repurchase it eventually if I ever need to repurchase a foundation this year. Don't know if I will have to. A Mally Volumizing Mascara did absolutely nothing for my eyes. This is what it looks like. I'm working on my Buxom um, Mini Deluxe Size Sample before I open up my Buxom Waterproof. Um, Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers and Invisible Oil UV and Heat Protectant primer. Love this stuff. And also the shampoo. Love this stuff. My dad um, works with one of the reps from Bumble and Bumble. Um, and so any more samples would be greatly appreciated because I love Bumble and Bumble hair stuff. A Batiste dry shampoo. I am trying to use dry shampoo at least three times a week instead of washing my hair every time um, every night, I, which I had been doing for a little while and been getting a little frizzy towards the bottom. But, um, you know, I like the Batiste. This is number two of six of the minis I have because I bought myself a set and my best friend bought me a set. So, um, probably be going through that very quickly. Uh, pumpkin Cupcake Soap from Bath & Body Works. I have one in my bathroom right now. A uh, Fresh Water Mist Moisturizing Body Lotion from Ulta. This was old. I just used it and um, it still smells very pungent. It's very men's cologne slash tiny bit of sweet. I don't know how really to explain that, but I liked it. It's gone now. A Harman Deep Cleansing Astringent for Sensitive Skin. I use this after I um, wash my face before I apply moisturizer. And Makeover Essentials Wipes. Did not really like them. They smelled like cologne, but not in a good way. Um, and they weren't really wet enough for my face. Now I have a whole pack of ponds I'm working on, so I hope I don't like go through those too quickly. Because again, my beauty bank, I feel like very poor for makeup right now. Like beauty bank is like only it has a dollar. Technically, it has three in it because I already put in my money for next week. But blah 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 blah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So after this, which I'm gonna go recycle throughout what I need to do, um, I'm going to start getting my things out for um, my makeup inventory. So that may be up today. It may not be up today. I will, obviously, you guys will see if it's up. Um, it's a little daunting. I just wanted to get this stuff gone so that I could have room on my bed, which where is where I'm sitting right now, um, to put out everything in my makeup inventory. I'm a little bit like, ooh, yes, like, you know, that's like the biggest comment for most people is that, like that, it's a really big eye opener. I know I have a lot of stuff. I know what I have. I like really honestly do know everything I have in my collection. And it's just going to be quite, um, quite interesting to see. So stick around for that later today, maybe, or tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe I'm going to try. If I get a little too overwhelmed, might not happen. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.